Good morning, Living Waters, and welcome back to our time of coffee uh, together as we embark on a new week together. Thanks for being with us. We are now looking at this theme uh, from what we heard in the scriptural text yesterday. We cannot be afraid to speak the truth, God's truth. And so we're going to look at five different texts per usual, one for each day, uh, examining what that means, what that looks like in our lives. And the first one I bring us to is Ezekiel chapter 2. This is a, actually Ezekiel 2, 1 through 7. The lectionary called for Ezekiel 2, 1 through 5 for this Sunday, but as we are still trying to keep services relatively short because of COVID regulations, we did not get to that. Um, I thought the Pauline passage with the race being sufficient um, was more impactful for what the message uh, was going to be overall as a sermon. However, I still want to spend some time with you today as we have our coffee talking about good old Ezekiel, one of the major prophets of the Old Testament. This is a part of the call story of Ezekiel, a calling him into prophecy. Um, and if we look at it, so uh, chat again, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, God speaking to Ezekiel and says, you know, verse 3, God said to me, mortal, I am sending you to the people of Israel, to a nation of rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have transgressed against me to this very day. Their descendants are impudent and stubborn. So of course, they use it to describe Rex, actually. <laughs> I'm sending you to them, and you shall say, thus says the Lord God. That's like, dun, 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 the mic drop moment. The, the, the big um, God's authority being placed down in Old, in Old Testament. Thus says the Lord's like, oh, snap. Okay. Um, whether they refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that there has been a prophet among them. And you, mortal, do not be afraid of them. Do not be afraid of their words. For the bruise and thorns surround you, and you live among scorpions. Do not be afraid of their words. Do not be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. You shall speak my words to them, whether they hear or refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house, right? So right from the onset, God is being clear of Ezekiel. You know what? It is important. In fact, I am calling you to the work of speaking the truth. God's truth. And God's saying right away, you know what? There's going to be people that don't want to hear it. <laughs> There's going to be people that are going to uh, call them scorpions, right? The rebellious house. Um, remember, this is... In the view of the Old Testament, rebellion against God uh, is violating some of the greatest commandments, the Ten Commandments, right? Um, God is, is kind of fed up with, with God's people at the moment. Um, and this, this truth, this message they need to hear, a message of repentance of sins, of grace uh, given out, but the people haven't been living, they haven't been sharing that grace, they haven't been living out their faith callings, and God's upset, and God wants the people to hear this. God wants the people to hear they could be doing better. But God also knows that some people will not be receptive to that message. They don't want to hear the truth. Right? There are some folks that, uh, even though we, we know what we preach is right and true in the eyes of God, they may not see it that way. <laughs> right? I mean, especially in this passage... God is, is presenting this image of the scroll, is placing it on the lips of Ezekiel. Oh, the idea of the scroll in his heart, right? Um, and yet still, God's like, you're going to speak truth, you're going to speak right, you're going to teach as I command. And some people are still going to have a problem with it, for they are a rebellious house. So don't be afraid. God is with you. Uh, but no, it's not going to be easy as we heard on Sunday of Jesus in his hometown. Grace is not something that is always easily accepted. Grace to help, does not help us define our, our boxes of in and out. Grace is hard to understand. The challenge is our control. Because we're not in control, it's God's grace. Anyway, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We have four more days to talk about this, but... We cannot be afraid to speak the truth, even if it is going to be hard, even if it is going to have, what was the, um, their words are dismayed by their looks, you know, even if we're going to get bad looks and, and people are going to be grumpy with us, we 
we must speak the truth. And this is what God has called us to do in our life. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Good truth telling. It's a more serious week, but that's good too. We need to be re-energized in our mission, and speaking truth is very much part of what we do.